Greetings to all that is, has been, and always will be. Welcome to the Chiron and Aquarius and the inner child. The wounds of belonging. This is the belonging within community, on the outs in the family, relationships, work, however you see it. The wounds of my Chirons was because you were left to feel like an outsider, left alone. You were also separated from the rest. One of your healing abilities of the people is to accept everyone, even the underdog. Whether you're on drugs, whether you are a bum, you just want everyone to be a part. This is your healing power. So in not isolating humanity or not making anyone feel like they're outside of your circumference. Um, you definitely help people to become more invo um, evolved. Okay, evolved. So if you are here for your sun sign, you are in the wrong place. <clears throat> this is for your south node, of course your Chiron, and your moon. Your south node is the past lives that you have lived before this body. Your moon is the hidden secrets or the deep things inside of you that you are not aware of or that you suppress. And of course, Chiron is the wounded healer. This is how the inner child within you as from being an actual child was wounded in your healing power. So, um, let's see. For those that are not familiar with the, your natal chart, um, you can go to astroseek.com to get a, a free um, report of your natal chart. And for the Chiron, you want to look for the K, the key. Also, all that jazz. This is general. It may not, the situations may not resonate, but the information that is inside will. So use your own spirit of discernment to how it applies to you in your life or your childhood. Also, my Chirons in Aquarius, a lot of you here are star seeds. If you're not sure what a star seed is, just do a little research, of course, while we have the opportunity to have Google. <laughs> um, also, within the jazz, hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, hit that bell notification as well. And also, Welcome to all of my new subscribers. It is a pleasure to have you here. For those that are new to me, you can go to the About tab to learn a little more about Mama Soul Lily. Also, just for now, I assist along the healing journey to aid you into finding your innermost safe haven in the midst of your darkest hours. And I think that's it. So we're going to look at the moon, moon manifestation to get the message of the moon. And the moon, of course, you know, represents the deep inner parts of yourself. And then we're just going to go with the flow. Oh, I will also leave my email in the description box for those that are true and sincere for a personal spiritual consultation with or without cards also check out look out for some new videos as well as check out some old videos because there's plenty floating around out there i call upon my highest self and i call upon the highest self of the chirons in aquarius and the inner child as we sojourn inward may the inspiration of the supreme creative source guide this experience as we go in into the shadows fearing no ego Bringing wisdom to our hearts and our minds for understanding and guidance and protection to all for their mind, body, soul, and spirit. Ashe.
All right, Aquarius, Chiron and Aquarius and the inner child. What is the moon message? What do they need more of? This may be a little lengthy. Full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. At the bottom of the deck, first quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. Yes, my Chiron in Aquarius. Because the kinder self of you is how you have been, you've been wounded. So it's asking you to unleash the kindness of yourself by accepting or not accepting, poor choice, digress, by wanting everyone to be a part of. No matter who you are, where you're from, it does not matter. And what has happened and why you're being asked to unleash it is because you have become a loner. You have become isolated from the self. The cooling of the emotions, we will get more on that as it goes. It may reveal itself more forward. The cooling of your emotions could also just represent, you know, in regards to how you feel about yourself. So next we're going to look into some emotions. That could possibly be some emotional, mental triggers for you. Um, this deck has a shadow attribute, a light attribute, and this deck doesn't. Two combined decks. So let's see. Chiron in Aquarius. <clears throat> What are the mental emotional triggers in regards to the wounds of belonging? What do you need to express? What needs to be expressed? One more. We'll take it. We'll take it. At the bottom of the deck is curiosity. Well, my Chiron in Aquarius and the inner child, your wounded child, how can you be curious if you don't come out of hiding, out of isolation? Hmm? You got to come out of isolation. You got to conquer those wounds and really just find where you belong so that you can be curious in the skills that you in, that you possess because you know the opposite of Chiron in Aquarius is the Chiron in Leo and Leo deals with the wounds of talent so being more curious you got to come out to be more curious to connect and bring balance the, you know but bring balance to the two polarities well the dualities of your Aquarius and Leo. So first out we have consideration. And then we have misunderstood throat chakra. <clears throat> well, with this misunderstood, I'm definitely seeing how you may have been within your family or in school and you were trying to fit in and communicate and whatever you had to say wasn't completely heard and in school or at home you were taken and put into time out to yourself when in essence you just wanted you you're, you just wanted to be perceived or received the information that you had had to give 
Um, this can also um, affect the emotions as well, make you very temper tantrum or very hot. And this consideration, um, I will go further to peel back some layers of onions, but this consideration is just really feels like from a child um, that you were wanting others to consider you. But in essence, they didn't. They just shut you out. Um, and and as far as like the feeling of now, it's like you have to consider yourself and how you fit in it all. Now we're going into my wild unknown archetype to see what your possible hidden strength may be. Hidden strength that they are unaware of. <laughs> okay, that they are unaware of. The underline is the healer. And you have the destroyer. Okay, the healer. Okay, that is the Chiron, the wounded healer. How Chiron takes, took the wounds of his past and became the self-enlightened shaman, taking the lemons and turning them into lemonade. Now, your hidden strength that you are unaware of is the destroyer. The ability to be able to take all the old paradigms and knock them down. Knock them down so that you can rebuild again anew. So that you can now, which says to me that you have now, through destroying, you have now come to rebuild who you are and knowing where you belong. Even though with our Chirons, we will constantly be challenged. We will constantly have different levels or different cycles that we will have to complete or we will have to go through. We just have to stay continuous within our strength, devotion, and our, our it's like, a, um, and staying connected into the feeling of our admiration, our driving force of our inner child. So we're going to clarify these here just to get a little more, excuse me, the destroyer of your hidden gift as well that you're not aware of some of you are definitely coming into letting go being resentful for what has happened in the past or being resentful because you had to be here a lot of my chirons and aquarius you have a problem with this earth three dimensional three dimensional um realm you really um don't you have a lot a lot of you have like I don't want to be here. I don't belong here. Why am I here? And this is also part of the um, misunderstanding as well. So let's peel back. Look at this mental emotion in regards to the wound of belonging. Consideration. All right, my Chiron and Aquarius consideration. A little more on the mental trigger, mental emotional trigger of consideration. One more. A little more with the Nine of Pentacles. Spirit says two more. Mm -hmm. 
First out, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Consideration, you know, wanting to be out there. Some of um, you have fashion or some type of um, cre some type of creation. There's something within your material abundance or something that you have to create, like a new software or being a, a, some type of activist. You know, this is what's representing this nine of pentacles. And it's like, because of the wounds, it's kept you from being able to move forward in your dreams um, or your desires. You know, what has caused you to, what has been inside of you to be motivated with the Knight of Wands. And being that you have been wounded and you're isolated, you're second guessing yourself here. You're second, you're second guessing yourself because you feel like what you have gone through within your wounds with the Knight of Pentacles has just been taking just way too damn long. That is truly your expression. Just been way too damn long. With having two nights, it feels like two, two persons here. And some of my um, Chiron and Aquarius's when you get around other people, you still feel a level of loneliness. You feel still kind of neglected or off ground, um, ungrounded. That's the word. I said off ground. Hey, still the same, right? You don't feel secure as well within your fire. Okay, what is this misunderstanding? Misunderstanding. And misunderstanding. Where does the misunderstanding relate to? I threw that. Source says keep it. There's a misunderstanding within your power. I'm hearing there's a misunderstanding within your power and it's very important for you to stop being self-conscious of your power and who you are and what you have to offer. You are truly able to overcome. You just got to step out. You got to step out and take a leap of faith here. The misunderstanding is that you have to stop thinking that what you have inside of you is a burden. Just because when you were a child and those started just pushing you away or shunning you, however this may look for you, um, it, it, it's overcomable. I forgot the first thought, faults, flaws, hiccups and all. But this is, is also creating a high level of misunderstanding within yourself. So you really have to step into your power. There's many options and many choices that you have available. You have secret codes that you are able to pull down. Some of these secret codes for some of you because you have been so wounded or traumatized within the pains and the disappointments that you're having your own misunderstanding in which one is the best for you. Um, some of you are also not completely sure <clears throat> which tools, such as crystals, um, pendulums, earth magic, water magic, you know, in regards to elements to work with. That is something that you have to kind of um, learn your natal chart, learn your science a little bit. Look at what, you know, your um, Chiron, well, right here we have air. So to assist you with your air, <clears throat> you would also use the element of Leo, which would be fire, okay? And then you can also incorporate something in regards to water as well to help bring some type of balance. Well, I'm an advocate of using all four of the elements, okay, to balance everything out, 
to keep not one separate from the other. But when there's something deeper within you and what you need, you have to search that out so you don't have the misunderstanding. Um, you have to be more curious, more driven, you know, more forceful into what you want in regards to your strong desire to be a part of something with some people. This is not a limited amount of people. This is a large quantity of people. Large groups of people. One moment. Okay. So. We're going to go ahead and clarify the destroyer, your hidden strength <clears throat> that you are unaware of. But first I want to say that you need to really consider within yourself who you are. This destroyer is bringing a, another message. It's showing me the, the, yes, the destroyer can be taken as a negative or a positive, right? But the way I'm seeing it is that these are the things that have been of abuse or wounds that you have experienced through your isolation, your separation of self. And you've kind of placed yourself way in the distance as you see these eyes here. But here in front of you of who you are, are the star systems, the different star systems, the different galaxies, the different gnosis that you have that is waiting for you to consider the unleashing of your true self, your true gifts and abilities that you contain inside of yourself through the many systems, galaxies, star systems that you possess, the different codes. I also wanted to bring that forward as well. <clears throat> but it is you that has to bring the message to you by connecting to your inner child again, letting your inner child know that all is well so that you can stand up within your power. All right, so let's see what the destroyer, a little more on the destroyer of your hidden strength that you are unaware of. Hidden strength. got to destroy to rebuild when a house goes through, through remod, being remodeled you got to tear down the walls right when you go for a new look and you want a short haircut what do you do whether it's a hair yeah a haircut you have to destroy it you have to take it down the ten of swords This is a celebration, a completion of a celebration that is your strength with the destroyer. That you have the ability, this hidden strength that you are unaware of, is that you have the ability to take the swords out of your own back from the wounds that you have experienced over your childhood, over your past lives, up until this present moment. You have the power you have the strength and the power to be able to go within the air which would be your solar systems to connect and collect the information that is needed for your healing let's pull one more yes to bring forth the the new traditions the new software the new community centers yes yes you have a very strong um, responsibility for humanity and their healing here. Because remember, we also had the healer at the bottom of the deck. And I just placed it up here with the rest of the cards. But you have to know and trust within your power, within your inner child. But the only way to come to that trust is to really allow yourself to use 
the isolation of your wounds or being called weird or quirky or indifferent to your advantage. Yeah, I may be quirky. I may be different. Yeah, I am. You're right. I'm very unique. Mm-hmm. What you trying to say? Yeah. <clears throat> right? So it's just a consideration within your perception of your mind also with this unleash. And this is that curiosity as well. Like, mm, like yeah, okay. Being curious to tap back in to all that is. I also want to look at um, what part of you needs to be released. Also, what part of you needs to be released? Chiron and Aquarius and the inner child. No. Source says no. Wrong deck. The deck of emotions and feelings. Okay. Let's do this real quick. Okay, what part of their emotions needs to be released to let go of, to have the strength to allow the destruction process, the degeneration process to take place so that you can be re reborn? Chaos, that says chaotic, but chaos, that solar plexus energy, that, that Aries energy, that solar plexus, that leadership, you know, coming out of that chaotic um, way of thinking about yourself okay and how you feel about yourself find a way to bring the calm into you and that calm unleash your calm self unleash your true self you know and be motivated yes and be motivated about it be ambitious you know be um courageous within it okay then we have my al uh, Wild Unknown al Alchemical deck, where I'm going to get a message from here, but <clears throat> I'm going to set that here. I want to see, I'm going to use my um, sexual magic to see um, what depth or what else wants to add on to this. And then we're going to pull from the alchemical alchemy, but I need to move this real quick here. And then we'll conclude. My hair is just, it do what it want to do, how it want to do it when it want. All right. Chiron and Aquarius. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. There's a relationship, whether work, family, friend, or foe, that has been very domineering, very, um, uh, very aggressive in their approach of their words. It's like I'm seeing someone as if they're yelling at you, but it's like you created because of the yelling or whatever was taking place around you, you created a bubble, your own bubble that isolated you, that kept you from being able to tap in. There's also a feeling of seduction here. 
the seduction. This is more towards your healing. I'm also hearing a level of exploring as well. Curiosity was at the bottom of the deck. Yes, explore some different avenues, maybe some different cultures. Um, some of you may have a um, Sagittarius um, sun, you know, so explore many different levels of truth with the Ace of Swords as well. And to get help better get yourself in the position um, that is needed for you to heal yourself. And to also stop worrying about the things of the main, of the flesh. Let's say it like that, of the flesh. Um, fleshly um, desires. Because here we have them making out, right? So either for her or him have a love a desire, right, to play this violin. But they've set it aside because they wanted to fulfill their flesh instead of fulfilling what is inside of their soul. So this is a level of avoiding it. Avoiding it. Because it doesn't make you feel comfortable. You have to stand within your truth. It's really a, a strong level of just tapping in and stepping into your power. Don't be afraid to allow what needs to be destroyed be destroyed. What needs to be released and let go of inside of you when it comes to these wounds and traumas, it is really important to go and face thyself so that you can come to the clarity that is really needed to help with the release and coming out of chaos. So that the storm that is within you that makes you feel indifferent or not wanting to be a part or in this world. But to find your place within the world that makes you calm and just accept it for what it is. That's all I can say is accept it for what it is. Because I'm a Chiron in Aries that deals with my se with self, my identity, my confidence, being bold. I never thought in a million years that I would be here doing videos on YouTube. But every time I go to do a video, it is a challenge for me. But I take that challenge of my pain and my traumas and my wounds and I step on them. And I say, get down. I'm stepping up. I'm rising. I'm going for it. And this is the same mentality that, you know, really needs to take place here as well. My hands are a little dry, so I'm going to give them a little shimmy. And then we're going to be out of here. Consider yourself so that you can come out of this isolation it's almost like a mental fog as well that is just inside of you. You have all of this information that's just moving around, you know, within the cosmic realm, within your mind, but you're not allowing it to flow and come out. You're not being productive in the areas that you really need towards your soul. You have so much to plan to help mankind here. Mankind, and you want everybody involved. You want everyone involved. But you have to want you to be involved. Iron. We have the raven's head. Look at the pearl. The raven's head. Are you going to release it or are you going to swallow it? What good is the pearl inside of you if you swallow it and don't release it? What good is the pearl? Unleash. If this raven swallows this, this is what is your soul's purpose 
as that healer of the community, if you just take this pearl because of your wounds and you swallow it, how can you unleash your true self? You can't, can you? So what's your choice? How are you going to root and found and, and ground yourself so that you can do your divine purpose, so that you can do your healing that is needed for you as well? So that you can no longer feel isolated or like you are alone because you are not alone. You just choose at this point to feel like you are alone, but you are very unique. You are very unique in a way um, that you can't even put your finger on it. And my Chiron in Aquarius, this is Mama Soul Lily, also known as Grandma Spider. Until next time, I will see you in another video. Ashe.